Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a weekly um, love reading for you, okay? So I will do the collective reading tomorrow. Um, so, oh yeah, look at that, the lover's card. So this reading for today, Scorpio, this is a love message. This is a love reading for the Scorpio family. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know? Ready for you to know, Scorpio. This is a love message for you guys. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, dating, getting to know. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for Scorpio, please? What is the love message for Scorpio, please? okay um so this is applicable for singles couples in a relationship dating getting to know and if you would like to further connect with me scorpio i invite you to check out the description box below you'll see the details of uh, my website my channels and the products and services that i offer outside of the youtube platform let's see what's coming towards you okay Let's get your overall energy for today. This is a love message for Scorpio. Love reading for Scorpio. What's the message for Scorpio, please? Queen of Cups. Okay. I feel like in the other channel, in the main channel, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups is also there. You're ready to fall in love. You're ready to share your heart again with another person. Queen of Cups. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Scorpio. No. This means, you know, I think the most difficult, the most dip difficult thing that we would do is to love. Because when you love, part of that is to be vulnerable. And I've never had, or I've never met someone who they're in love and never get hurt you know when I, I mean when i say hurt you know when you love expect to get hurt you know disappointment not not the big three of swords i mean when you love you get hurt too you know because it's loving a person loving another person is the most difficult i would say challenging but also it's the most beautiful thing you know it's to, it's to love and to be loved so you're ready to fall in love if you fall in love and if you share your heart and be vulnerable vulnerable again um three of swords you you must be ready for this you know but in spite of everything you know even though there there's pain or hurt or disappointment in a relationship it's still nice to fall in love you know uh, queen of cups yeah most especially you Scorpio you are you're very intense you are very romantic so um, I'm really really feeling like you guys are opening your heart chakra again and really really manifesting love renewal of love and because of that you've got an ace of pentacles in here Scorpio look at that ace of pentacles hmm you have an offer of love is Whoever this person is, there's an offer of love. Ace of Pentacles, the star card, the four of wands. Um, you know, I'm seeing the four of wands in here. This person will set your, you know, your heart on fire, Scorpio. Mm. Let's see. This person is traveling. I don't know, but this person has already because i'm seeing the ace of pentacles in here there's a road you know it could be two opportunities scorpio like an overlapping opportunity one in the past one someone new because this four of wands i don't think this is you i think it's one someone young one is uh same age as you for some of you guys let's see what is the offer of love for scorpio it seems to be like the star card in here it's very it's it's very destiny kind of you know energy in here um let's look at the ace of pentacles for you scorpio yeah page of swords 
you've got a page of swords and you've got the three of pentacles so the ace of pentacles this offer the first offer is from the past so the first offer there's a message and i feel like it's a message of it's a it's a very interesting message um scorpio ace of pentacles the page of swords the three of pentacles in here like this person does not want to be dramatic they want to get into the things like they want to be they want to head on with wh where did we left up scorpio yeah knight of wands the high priestess yeah this person is yeah the full card so you have an offer and their message and effort it's very familiar like it's a person who you it's a it's a it, it's the, the offer is coming from a person who you are familiar so imagine um for example you're dating someone you had a previous relationship with dating someone you know and they they call you babe you know for example so this first offer you haven't very very familiar that you haven't talked to them for quite some time now and when they message you they still call you the same babe okay so they're very very comfortable to call you or to have a conversation to you as if you guys are still together you know so it could be hey babe and you're like what you know we have not seen each other or talked to each other for one week or two weeks and you call me babe so that's the that's how the offer the conversation or how they're going to present themselves to you scorpio is that hey babe you know page of swords straight page of swords they're very straightforward three of pentacles they're very on three of pentacles like it's an effort like what i used to call you you know they're used to you knight of wands very on point very straightforward high priestess they don't have any they don't have second thoughts the full card they want to take a risk you know it could be um a person who very straightforward i love you or i miss you but straightforward very very comfortable whoever this person is you know even if you talk to this person three months ago four weeks ago or four days ago the way they talk to you the way they're coming towards you it is as if like you you were you were in contact the whole time you know never it never changes yeah exactly the feelings they have for you never changes the way they look at you the way they feel you the way they talk to you it's never changes now they're returning they don't want to talk about the past they just really want to get on with where you left with them okay like they're trying to get a shortcut actually like they have this understanding okay yeah two of wands they have this understanding that we can continue we could still continue things scorpio come on scorpio we can continue things yeah look at that ten of cups come on scorpio i'm here let's continue where we left up let's continue that okay now these two cards it's it's really screaming for a new person now that's the first offer the second offer i'm getting in here is that yeah i know it yeah eight of pentacles queen of wands this is you so while there's someone in the past who's reaching out like a gangster you know bursting with energy coming back into your life and so comfortable and so confident that hey scorpio i miss you let's talk let's see each other like they've got this authority or such a i don't know this, they have a swag like whoever this person is scorpio you're mesmerized with this person so anyway while this person you know very very confident that they could get you to connect with them you on the other hand you are either you're in love or interested with someone at work or uh you're starting to look into another direction okay because this person whoever it is they're very confident that you're still available for them little did they know you've got someone at work 
or you're working towards, you're starting to like somebody. You're starting to appreciate other lovers. Or you're simply busy at work. If you're in a relationship, you're simply busy at work and this person is trying to get your attention madly, deeply. So that's the first vibe. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be both. In the next two weeks, I'm seeing this opportunity back to back. And I'm seeing you, Scorpio, you're so busy and you've got this back to back offer. You know? Um, you've got the Ten of Wands. Like what I told you guys. You know, Ten of Wands, you're just so busy with, I don't know, maybe you're moving or organizing. And a person would like to commit with you. King of Pentacles, you know. You're just too busy in life or there's something going on, Scorpio, that's keeping you busy, keeping you awake at night. There's something that distracting you. Like there's something with you that you could not focus on romantic. Maybe two person, you're dealing with two person. You've got you know, two of pentacles in here, but there's something with you in this reading that you could not make up your mind, whether this or that, on top of that, your life, you know, your, your work, your day-to-day -day activity, your friends, your family, yourself, so queen of cups, queen of cups is also, you know, I, with this reading, the queen of cups is very healing, it could be that you're falling in love with yourself, with your life again, so, so much going on and you've got this back-to-back -back offer or this person is really you know bursting with energy and really wanting to be in your life and they they're not stopping you know they're sitting out there you know they they keep messaging you for some of you guys you know for some of you guys you aren't able to concentrate at work or something that you're doing because this person keeps bothering you calling you texting you you know like they sit there Hi, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Let's see. Yeah, I told you guys, two of cups. Okay, Scorpio. Can you reply? Can you respond, Scorpio? I really miss you. So I'm seeing like this person would really f have a full reconciliation with you, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, they would like to reconcile with you. They're very sad that you haven't really... Uh, pay, attention, pay attention with them. They might take the risk. You know, if there is a person who's been calling you or texting you and you haven't paid attention, like you haven't given them proper time to talk to them, they would eventually show up <laughs> with a chariot card in here. Yeah, seven of pentacles. And the temperance card. I feel like whoever this person is from the past that would be bursting in your life in the next two weeks you know they they really would like to take this time there's something with their confident there's something of something to do with availability their confidence and also feeling like they've kind of lost you and they're so worried that they lost track of what you're doing your interests and one day this person just wake up and realize five of cups wait a minute I've lost Scorpio and I need to get back on track seven of pentacles this person would send you I don't know flowers foods this person likes painting they probably will you know send you painting but they're very very anxious whoever this person is they're very anxious they're very in a hurry to connect with you Scorpio and they want to happen soon than later they won't give you time whoever this person is it's in a hurry but the thing is you're not in the position to decide because you've got some stuff. You've got a lot of stuff going on, Scorpio. Hidden energy is you've got the moon card. You know, I mean, this is you looking at that and top of that, you know. So lots, lots of things, you know, lots of things can have come your way, Scorpio, in the next two weeks. Yeah, nine of wands. Like you sit there, you look at the wands. I get I got to do this I got to do that I got to reply with this and this and that so I feel like this person they're available they're ready and you're somehow somewhere out there possibly traveling you're also committed to another project to another place or opportunity but I see you you want to attend to love but you're just so busy for some of you guys let's see yeah, Seven of Cups and the Sun card. You will enjoy the attention. In short, 
in the next two weeks, I'm seeing you, excuse me, I'm seeing you enjoying the attention. Scorpio. I don't think you would be able to decide. I don't think you would be able to decide right away on how you're going to deal with this person because they're going to be around. But one thing is for sure, it's it's good to have them back. It's good that this person is showering you with attention. It's, it's a proof that they're making up with the lost time. And it's also nice to be given you know sun card like it feels all it feels also it feels also to be it feels happy as well to be given to be busy and there's another person who is you know giving you special attention scorpio sun card if it's not at work it's somewhere where you go regularly sun card or for some of you this is around I don't know, September or December time that you visited this place and yeah. Interesting, Scorpio. When you don't love when you don't want love, that's where love finds you. Now in the immediate future you got three of cups, you're gonna go back to dating. Yeah, very soon. Um so I'm I'm really hearing like try to really wear a lot of red because you're very attracted in red. And for the gents, try to really wear um, like powerful color like violet, purple, purple, and blue. Those are really very attractive, attract, 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 sorry, attractive color when it comes to dating or getting to know. Or it's such a powerful color to kind of be magnetic. To emphasize, I don't know, for some of you, with, when you, you when you wear that color, it emphasizes the eye, the color of your eyes, or it complements that. But I'm seeing here exactly the color, red for feminine, and then blue greenish for the gents. So you're gonna go back to dating Scorpio. Let's see. Ooh, King of Cups, Six of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, like wherever you go in the next two to three weeks, Scorpio, you are getting attention. Not just with who is Veronica. There is a Veronica, and um, yeah, there's a W, there's a letter B, there's a Veronica, there's an Ian. So. So in the immediate future, you're going to go back to dating. You're going to go back to dating. For some of you guys, you're so picky that, you know, a person is really offering, you know, a, a king of cups, but it's not enough. <laughs> Something tells me that you, you are in a very good position when it comes to career. That is what matters to you right now. I feel like it's coins that's matter to, that, that matters to you right now. Yeah. Like seven of swords in here, like sorry guys or sorry ladies. I am taken by my career. Something ter something tells me that you're you're being something's gonna get you busy, and then love comes along. And page of wands. Wow, this is really good news. Like this is overwhelming. I'm getting lots of attention. I'm getting a lot of response, but I don't have time because you love yourself so much. You know, Queen of Cups. You've fallen in love with life that you're attracting the right person. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I told you guys something is there is an auspicious time lucky times when it comes to career finance to you and top of that because you're so focused on you scorpio uh the the right person the right love energy is aligning to you ten of pentacles so this is your reading scorpio Thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you connected with me. And if you do, please do click the bell, click subscribe. And I will see you soon again, guys, tomorrow for the, I think it's, this is a love reading. So tomorrow is going to be a weekly general collective reading, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to check out the description box below. Um, also, follow me on the main channel, Sunshine TV. And then check out the website, all other details also in the description box below. I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.